Uh oh, oh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Gosh, that's a good one there. Golly. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> There's a Camelot Bell toad right there. Guys, that's what Camelot Bell is all about right there. If that doesn't get your blood pressure up, there's something wrong. This place will ruin you. Well, welcome to another exciting Pro vs. Joe here. We've got a special show for you without a doubt. We are back here in, in Central Texas at a very special place to me called Camelot Belly. This place is amazing. It's all about conservation and growing monster bass. Imagine going to your most favorite restaurant and the biggest massive buffet you can imagine. That's what he's stocking in these lakes for these bass to eat. And when you have the ultimate buffet, we know as Americans what happens when we do that. So you guys, if you, you follow back in 2013 you remember I uh, came down here and caught my personal best bass ever I caught a 10-8 down here excited to get in here see what these things have been eating and uh, who knows maybe they'll like what we're offering them on the buffet and the goal is to to beat that 10-8 Chauncey challenged me to come back down here so Chauncey I appreciate it you know what an exciting place it is you know I fished here several years ago I know from talking to you you fish here quite often right yeah, I try to get out here a couple times through, uh, throughout from February through uh, April. And what's your biggest fish? Uh, 14 pounders. A 14 pounder. So he's definitely got me beat on the personal best. But uh, you know what? How about we go out today and let's beat each of our personal let's best? Do it. What do you that'd, say? That'd be let's a get day. out there. Let's, let's go. Get let's there. get at it. Uh, my name is Chauncey Franks. I'm from the uh, small town Texas, Lockhart, Texas. Uh, currently live in Fort Worth, Texas. I work on the campus of Texas Christian University. Uh, excited to get opportunity to fish with Brent today. Uh, Camelot Bell big fish in this place. Uh, I've seen some that I still have nightmares uh, that I lost before. I've caught some big fish here myself. I've caught a 13 pounder, or 14 pounder, uh, tens and everything up from there. Uh, and excited to get a chance and learn from Brent today uh, and see if maybe if I can uh, maybe catch one bigger than him. I'm looking forward to it. All right, Chauncey. So, man, this is exciting. We are on a very special place. I know you saw back in 2013, I got to come down here and have some good fishing. I know you had some good fishing here in the past and uh, I'm glad you challenged me to come back out here. So uh, on that note, this is all about us having fun. Yep. Uh, first fish, most fish, and, and obviously biggest fish okay. down here. So uh, I'm gonna give you the honorary first cast. I appreciate that. And uh, let's, let's get at it. I can tell you fished here a fair amount because you've got definitely some big equipment, big rods, big braided line and all that, but you were telling me you've had your heart broken here a few times. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, you come here, it's, you're fishing for that, that, that one bite. You know, yeah. You're fishing for that, that, uh, that, that double digit. You're fishing for that one that's 13 pounds and up and, and they're here. I've caught them, I've seen them, uh, they are here. So what do we got? We got 55 degree water. It's warming on up. It's warming up and should be getting good, right? It's about that time, that uh, that love making season time. Yeah. <laughs> Does that look fishy or what? Oh man, it looks too fishy. Uh, uh oh, there we uh oh. Go. Today. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. <laughs> man, that thing just stopped it. Look at that thing. Holy yeah, cow. That's the fat one, nice one. Come here, big girl. She, Good fish. Oh, come here, girl. Look at that. Yes, sir. How about that for a start of the day? That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, but that's just kind of the average here, isn't it? Yeah, that's a that's a healthy bass there. It's a good. How bass. about that, guys? Probably uh, we'll put we'll put her on the scale. I'm gonna guess close to five, and that's just kind of the average here. That's definitely the first fish but knowing this place not the biggest no it won't be the biggest <laughs> let's just see right at five pounds guys that's why that's why you come here because these are just the average beautiful fish right there awesome these i call these catching ponds yeah the tournament lakes we go to are fishing places you do a lot of fishing and hopefully a little bit of catching mm -hmm. These you hopefully do a lot of catching. But they should be up on this flat. You know, it's that time of year where they start moving up on this stuff. And mm -hmm. 
kind of scary. You know what? I mean, every cast. Oh, it's man. <laughs> it, could, it could be that one that get your arm snatched, snatched off your body. Yeah. You know, usually when it comes to fish and grass, it's about finding that edge, you know, and yep. now we've kind of found that edge. So, you know, these fish should be coming up out of this uh, deeper water and sitting up on this, this edge. And... Uh, uh oh, oh my gosh. Good one. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, what we got here? Man, I was just burning that thing. Got it on this high here. Look, he's going to jump. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Good one. <laughs> Might be you. Just bur burning that thing and it just stopped it. I think the the square the new square bills uh, and that thing is uh when is it hitting the market? It won't be till uh, later this year. Okay. But uh, wow, beauty, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, uh, look at that! Beautiful fish, man. That's probably closer to six. I'm guessing. Uh, this will this will ruin you here. That's a good one. Look at that. But if I remember right, last time they were deceiving. These things are made like out of lead or they're something. They're tanks. Ah, uh, it's a little, little high. Five nine. Five nine. Five nine. Yep. So if you want to come catch some average fish down here, like five pounders, here you go. What's amazing is those fish that size, they're only like two or three years old. What they did when they built this lake is they stocked it with, I believe he said, 60 bass over 10 pounds. And those fish spawned, and that's what that's what their offspring look like. They love red, so uh, there we go. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. I'm liking the new square bill. <laughs> Man, I'd like to be here on a day when it's when you don't have to fight the wind so Man. much. What's been your, your favorite just all-time place that you fished? Might be here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but probably my most favorite place I've been, the few times I've been there, is Clear Lake in California. Okay. And it's just a, a neat place because it's so versatile. Okay. All right, your turn here. I know. I'm ready for you to bow up on I'm, one. I'm telling you. Uh-oh, there we go. So look at you. There we go. That's a little guy, though. Okay. Two, two and a half, three pounder, and we're calling a little guy, you know? <laughs> Ski him in. He liked that craw color. Ate that one head first. So this one, we're gonna put in the live well. And he actually takes these and he will sell them to customers that buy them for their lakes. So uh, kind of doing two things at once. I'm it's not to, the quantity, it's the quality, right? I'm trying to get that, that first bite. The first and that, that's boat. sometimes the hardest, is getting that first, first one just one. to get you dialed you, in. And, have you lived in Texas your whole life? Been in Texas my whole life. All right. Uh, grew up loving to fish. Grandparents were uh, farmers. We would get up that morning and we would work their fields and at lunchtime, go eat, and then we catch grasshoppers and go pond hopping all day. Really? Well, that sounds awesome. Yeah, that was my, my love for fishing started. My whole head was messed up from then. So <laughs> it just, the love got the love got started back. Oh yeah. And uh, started back on this expensive trail. Uh oh. Finally got. Me. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, that's a good one there. That's a good one there, Brian. Yeah. Don't horse him though. Oh, look at that one. That's time. <laughs> About time. Good things Jeez. come to those who wait, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Wow. And about time. Jeez. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's see what he weighs. That, that's got to be a six, I would think. Well, no. Five, two. Five, two. Beautiful fish, though. Beautiful fish. All right, Mama. These are those are the averages here. Isn't that crazy? Beautiful fish. Good job. I have to go on and break the ice on that. What's the uh, uh oh. Look at that one. Look at that. Pretty fish, isn't that? Ah! Fish landing violation there. Hey. That's where we'd get a penalty, but. 
See, that's what's fun. You come to a place like this and you see what, uh, you put your equipment to work. That's a good one. Good solid, probably three and three quarters. Maybe four pounds. He gets to go with us. <laughs> oh, this place will ruin you. It's just too perfect for a jerk bait. <laughs> you know I'm going to catch a big one, right? I know you are. Because I'm going to put it on 14 pound line. That's gonna, and that's going to be the one. <laughs> you get one? Yeah. You're making me get back here and put on a change baits and you're up here catching them. All right, you get to add one to the well as well, right? Yes, sir. Stick them in there. Thank you. That's the thing about a jerk bait, too. It'll catch numbers. Three trocar trebles out there on them and see if we can't hook them here. See what happens. Man, I thought we'd catch them in this. I thought we'd sit right here and catch several. Uh-oh, here's one. Little guy. Little guy, but it's fun. That's the thing, a jerk bait will catch big ones, but it'll sure catch the little ones as well. <laughs> now, did you play football then? I did, I played at uh, Midwestern State uh, Division II school up in uh, Wichita Falls. Played okay. there, coached there. And uh, that kind of what eventually led me to uh, Fellowship Christian. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I hate to say this too. Oh, get one. I'm sitting here digging out baits and you're catching the nice fish. Look at that. Oh! Uh, suck it out. That didn't take long though, did it? No, sir. Sit around and try to dig out a bait and you're I'm catching. Trying to, I'm trying to catch up to you. <laughs> there we go. Now. Now I got the right baits. But so what, when you guys catch your biggest ones here, what do you usually catch them on? Really? Yeah. On plastics? No yeah. kidding. I think every, every double digits I've caught has been on plastic. Huh. Wow. Good one. Good one? Yep. Good one? Uh, no, 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 I don't think it's a big, big one. That's a nice one. Get that <laughs> You can tell you've played this game once or twice. <laughs> oh, let's see. I can probably swing him. There you go. <laughs> Solid four pounder or so. That's how it goes in the live well, isn't it? <laughs> That's the colon kind. And then you pick up the square bill and now you're catching them and it's uh Man, I'm just trying to catch you. You, you <laughs> shut out the block so fast. But see, now, now I'm getting a feel for this place. And when you get this grass out here in the middle like this, this is where they're going to be. Another one? Good one? <laughs> oh, holy cow. Yeah, get him. Just take your time, though. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. That's, uh, There's woo. a Camelot Bell toad right there. Uh, <laughs> you might have me on big one. Yeah. You hooked him good. If you're going to hook a big one, you hooked him the right way. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. Look at that tank. Yeah, that's pretty much. Nice. Sure. Good job. Let's see what. Uh, what are you? What are you guessing? Uh, eight. Eight. That's what I'm guessing. I think he's caught him a few big fish. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. <laughs> Look at that. Get a picture for me. Yeah, absolutely. Not about the quantity, it's about the quality, right? Yes, you just showed that. So, you know what's interesting about all this is, is I've been to Mexico, to El Salto, and a lot of places. Uh huh. And those places don't even compare to this. Wow. And Mike put his uh, his life passion to this. It's, uh, 
He's a mad scientist. He loves this. He's uh, you can tell. My, my dream for him to see that record. Uh, <laughs> he get opportunity to see it in his lifetime. There's a lot of big fish in this place. But I tell people you got to get them on before you can get them in, right? True. I know that we're here. I feel like I need to make a cast or two on that boat ramp. This time of year, a lot of times those boat ramps is where those big ones will sit because they warm up good, you know? Mm -hmm. Like that. Like that dude. Oh, I can't tell. That's a little, uh, I say a little guy, it's a three and a half or four pounder. And I'm saying a little guy. Oh, don't you do it. Yes, sir. Yeah, three pounder, probably. <laughs> Crazy. Do we have to leave? <laughs> I don't want to leave. The Wolf Pack Lake, it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. You caught that big eight pounder and uh, we, we caught a fair amount of fish. Yep. The wind's been a little brutal down here. How about we go eat some lunch? Let's do it. And I know the Bell Lake above, big fish. it's got the big ones in it. How about we go up there and go double or nothing? Now let's do it. Let's Sound do it. Let's go eat some lunch and get ready. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, Chauncey, we're here at an amazing place. We call this the Bell Lake. This place has got some massive fish in it. I know you said you caught a 14 pounder out yep. of here. I caught my first best at 10, 10, 8 out of here, so uh, let's see what we can do. Let's do first, most, and biggest. Ready? All right, let's, let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to take advantage of it. You shot out the, you shot out the gate the last lake. See, he knows something I don't. He's out there just throwing out here in the middle. <laughs> if I remember right, there's stumps and stuff out here, though, too, isn't there? Yeah. Like that. See, there you go. <laughs> good one? Yeah, I think it's a good one. It's a good Coming one. up. Holy cow. It's a good one. You're not going to beat me first. First and biggest. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Don't horse him. Just take your time. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, wow. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I might have just lost two categories in one cast. Wow. Holy cow. Guys, that's what Camelot Bell is all about right there. Let's see. What are you guessing? Uh, about nine. That's, how, that's what I'm thinking. First bite and just a, just a nine pounder. Look at that. Eight, seven. Okay. Eight, eight. Okay. Good job. How about that for first bite? Wow, you got my work cut out for me now. Whew. That doesn't get old. <laughs> if, if that doesn't get your blood pressure up, there's something wrong, right? Yeah, that is. Oh, holy cow. That thing knocked slack in my line. It's not even a big one. <laughs> Wow, there we go. There we go, finally. There we go, finally. Spinnerbait fish. Spinnerbait <laughs> fish, finally. Finally. How about that? Look at those bellies on them. I bet that's right at four pounds. Three and a half. I'll take it though, three and a half pounder. Thank you, fish. Man, that was an awesome fight. I see you leaning like that. Uh, 
you can lean in and uh, thank you. We're on them now. We're on them. We're on the old lipless. Lipless. And I saw you bowed up like that and I'm like, I thought it was a big one at first. He, he got a big part like that one you had to smack yeah. the mess out of. <laughs> he, he smacked it like he had some size. Yeah. What's that? This wind. Yeah. I've been here three days now and this wind has done this every time I've been here. <laughs> uh oh. There it is. Uh oh. Little guy. Little for this lake. Let's put it that way. A little chunker. Look how fat that thing is, though. Chunk. You think these fish don't eat well here? Look at that chunker. Yeah, that that is. Uh oh. There you go. Little oh, guy. Now look, little chunker. Another little chunker. Not supposed to be like this here, are they? They're acting unusual a little bit today. Acting a little fishy. Huh? Yeah. Sneaking back up there though. Yeah, we are. Uh oh. There we uh -oh. go. Here we go. Uh, little guy. That rust. Little guy. Look at look at the shad they're spitting out. I wonder if we're throwing way too big a bait. Maybe. Look at that look thing. Think that thing's fattening up right there. Wow. Did you see that? Chauncey, I don't know about you, but I've had a fun day. But unfortunately, all these fun days come to an they end. Do. So how about we give it five more minutes? Does okay. that sound good? Sounds like, good. And that way we can get out of this wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good day. It's been a fun day. Yes, it has. All right, you ready? Let's go. Five. <laughs> Three. Last cast, here it is. <sighs> Save the best for last. On that note, I think we'll call it a wrap. What do you think? Sounds good. Chauncey, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Man, it was great. Appreciate that. You challenging me back here at Camelot yeah. Bell. It was definitely a challenging day. You know, by their, by their nature, it definitely threw us a curveball with the wind. I mean, it was brutally windy out here today, yep. but we still made the most of it. I think I got the first fish of the day, but you definitely got the biggest fish of the day. He got two eight pounders today. I think I caught a five or something, but guys, this place is truly a, an amazing fishery. Two eight pounders in a day, that's just an average day for you here. Yep. So, truly amazing place, Camelot Bell. Chauncey, I enjoyed it. Thank you again. <laughs>